Tech Hello, I'm Fergus Tukesh, I'm from Ireland and I'm a double Tech Motor finalist and I'm here to help you try and learn Lully. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dashright for more character guides and check out their website for all things FGC. So let's go over some for key moves that you should be using neutral. So let's start with her jab. Lily's jab is quite good because it has good range. It's plus one, like most universal jabs, and it's plus eight on hit, right? However, her one two is plus eight on hit, which is kind of rare for a one two string. And she has okay follow ups after her trap string, such as 1, 2, 3, which is a low, 1, 2, 4, which is a mid, and then on the counter hit on the low, she gets it to guarantee down 3, and you can do some other okay tools with it. So her trap strings are very good and should be used for sure. Another move that you should use with Lily is her Demfort 1. Her Demfort 1 is okay, it doesn't have any follow ups, however, it is good on hit, and on block, it's only minus 1. So that means using Lily sidestep. You can um, you can step around a lot of things, even at low minus, and you can evade your opponent's retaliations. Step and we punish with the opponent's retaliation. So Lily is the strongest side step in the game. You have to remember this. So abuse this. Another move that you should use is dump for three. Dump for three is good because it's plus three on block. Force them in crouch, so that means they can't step in one direction. On hit is pretty good. It's a mid, obviously. Going down side is is a little bit slow. But it's a very good pressure tool, and on, on counter hit, you get a full combo. So you want to use this move to kind of lock down the opponent with Lily. That's her whole, her whole idea, to frustrate you, lock it down, step in retaliation, and just keep slapping on plus frames, make you free to retaliate. Another move you want to use with Lily for a similar reason is done for 3. Or cross circle forward 3 plus 4. Now cross circle forward 3 plus 4 is good, because it's plus 6 on block. On normal hit, it tail spins. And it's plus same thing on hit, so that's really, really strong, right? So you want to use this move to discourage your opponent from stepping. And when they stop stepping, this is when you can go for slower moves, which I'll talk about in a second, like down, for, down three and stuff like that. Another move you want to use with Lily, especially for keep out, which is something she got in this uh, season, in season four. She got buff on this move and it became a lot stronger. It's forward four. Forward four is 17 frame move. It's a mid, it has a lot of reach. And on normal hit, you can back roll, so there's nothing free after this, you can back roll it. However, on counter hit, she gets a full combo. So, you want to use this for a opponent who likes to approach Lily at range and try to um, approach her. And then use this to keep them out. So, 4-4, definitely a strong keep out move. Another move, now let's get into Lily's lows. So, of course, she has a generic down for it, which is important to use with every character. But especially for Lily, because remember we talked about her sidestep, it's one of the best in the game. I think it's arguably the best in the entire game. So if you use Den 4, even though it is minus 2, you can still step a lot of things that your opponents like to try and mash on you to get out. So remember, use Lily step at low minus or low plus frames, or just in general to get around um, situations that other characters can avoid. So using Den 4 is really good with Lily to kind of harass them, frustrate them into making a mistake, and then getting the render so if you want to like go for bigger lows then three is an option you can use then three in my opinion is lily's best low poke because he has very good range he has really good tracking pretty much tracks both ways so it's very good tracking and on counter hit you get a little bit extra plus frames so even though he's only plus one remember lily's a really strong step so if your opponent likes to mash step around it and then punish them first so Den 3 is definitely a must-use low poke for Lily. It's like going to be your main low poke with her for sure. If you want a more damage at your lows and you're sure that the opponent is like really respecting you, you can start optimize. You can start to go for a 4 or 4 Now, this is a bit of a debatably seeable in the Tekken community. So there's a big debate over the slow that is seeable or not. But most players in the world can't see the slow. So if they can't see it, go for it. It is a bit slow, so that's why you'll make sure you condition them with them for three. You condition them with cross over three plus four homie move. When they sit still, because of these moves and Lily stepping, this is when you can start going for bigger stuff like four four four. Now, it's plus four on hit, but if they, you can go to back turn, so you can hold back to go into back turn. If they try to mash something, you can do um back turn three plus four. 
Back down 3 plus 4 is nice because it will frame trap after this. So if they step or duck, no, if they mash or they duck, you can get a full combo off this. And then the last move I'll talk about with Lily, sorry, with 4 for 4 counter hit. If you go into back turn on counter hit, you get a free back turn 1 4. Because back turn 1 4 is 8 frame. So if you land this on counter hit, make sure to go for this when you see the animation. Now let's talk about them for 3 plus 4. This is probably Lily's maybe most famous move. Them for 3 plus 4 is a long range launcher that can combo on normal hit. On block, it can be awkward for a lot of characters to punish it. It's a mix up on block to punish it. And if you are from if you do this from further out, you can actually make it even less minus. See it's minus 2 there. So if you space that well, or you hit on meaty on wake ups, it can be less minus. So you'll be able to recognize the ranges over time on what it is on block. So you can use this as a combo starter and also as a long range for Punisher. So yeah, that's kind of like Lily's neutral in a nutshell. Let's talk about her pressure in the next session. Now let's talk about her Duke Glide. Her Duke Glide is dumb across like a forward. She has a bunch of moves that are important in combos and also in pressure that goes into Duke Glide. So in Duke Glide, she has access to her while standing moves. So while standing 1, 2, while standing 4, while standing 3. And then if he holds the forward at the end of the cross circle forward, you can do quirk support moves such as quirk support 1, 2, quirk support 3, which is also her while standing 3, quirk support 2, 1, quirk support 3 plus 4. So she has, a, she has some moves that she can do out Duke Glide, right? Now, the main thing that you use Duke Glide is to make your opponent freeze up. So when they see the Duke Glide, they might be looking for this, they might be looking for something else or whatever, right? They might be looking for the cross circle forward 4 out of it. So what I like to do with Duke Light is empty Duke Light, make them freeze up against it, and go for a pressure out of it. So down for three, empty Duke Light, you know, pressure them. When they start trying to interrupt this, this is when you can start going for things like this. And she has a bunch of strings that actually goes into Duke Light, such as back two, one, hold forward, uh, four, for th four for three, hold forward, uh, manual cross circle forward by doing it by itself, but back one into it as well, which is important, because if they try to interrupt the back one into Duke Light on block, they risk eating back 1-4, which is only minus 11 on block. You can do it back 2-1 as well, which I really like. It's a 13 frame natural string, high. It goes into it, so if you, you can go into back turn, you can do it into Duke Light, threaten them with follow up such as Course of World 1, which cross under jobs. This, if they do something slower, for example, or you can just go into and do pressure from it. Get your plus friends and you can do the same thing with back one as well back one is the empty to glide pressure with or back one into hold forwards to crush under jobs you know there's a lot you can do with this move so i will use i always make sure to use duke like so not only can lily do her plus frames such as them for three course of four three plus four and her side step to create kind of offense against the opponents but you can also use her duke like cancels as i just demonstrated where strings back to one string Back four, back one into it, or empty, or just empty to do glide in pressure and neutral for pressure. So, yeah, it's important to be able to utilize this move, utilize the movements out of it as well to put pressure on your opponents and to approach them as well. So, this will be her combo from hop kick and dump for two. So let's talk a bit briefly about Lily's strengths and her weaknesses. Now Lily's a bit of extreme character, as in that she's pretty linear, but she's also like has the best side step in the game and the best side walk in the game. So this means that she's like a very like polarized character in terms that she can escape a lot of things. The other characters can escape through their own pressure and through Lily's uh, pressure herself. But like I said, she can be pretty linear. 
Her counter hits her a bit on the slow side, like she doesn't have a fast like counter at launcher, so they're a little bit on the sl on the slow side. However, she does have a really good step. She has good wall carry. Her damage is pretty decent. She has good keep at now with the Ford four. So that all kind of comes together and kind of makes Lily a very weird character to play. But I think she's also quite simple. But she's definitely a weird character because the way that she defines her pressure. And the way that she defines offense is purely through her getting plus frames, but also conditioning the opponents to not attack because of her step being the best in the game. So that's definitely her strength. Now her weakness is her while standing punishment is a little bit on the weak side. Her punishment for 13 to 14 frame is a little bit weak. So she has to rely on 4 2 3 until she can launch. But her strength is definitely her having a, a 10 frame wall splat. And a really damaging Punisher at uh, 28 damage. So that's definitely a strength of her 10 frame Punisher. Just her punishment gets a little bit weak later on. So strong early punishment, a bit weak later on. Best step, uh, decent pressure. Just a bit lacking in counter hits. And a bit, uh, she's a bit on the slow side. And her low is a little bit weak versus stronger players. Because 4 for 4 can be seeable. But then 3 is still great low by herself. So yeah, that's kind of Lully in a nutshell in terms of strengths and weaknesses. You can also check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If you liked this video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. Thanks for watching.